All right, everyone knows that quality is a good idea, but often it's difficult for organizations to realize how quality helps put money in their pocket. How does quality impact the bottom line? Is quality actually worth it? I got a chance to work with a large oil company in Texas. They uh, uh, actually were pretty forward thinking. They had an environmental services organization that was working on lower greenhouse emission automobiles, which is pretty smart, I think, for an oil company. And like most organizations, they had an extended supply chain. They were buying parts from a number of different vendors. And this one vendor was making parts that had silver plating on them. They'd take the parts, dump them in the bath, and, and coat everything with silver. And they have been doing this for a long time. This uh, environmental services company was just a small part of their customer base. And they thought they were pretty good at, at making things with silver on them. So they didn't know why all of a sudden they had to have these computer systems and they had to take these measurements and they had to do all this quality type stuff. They said, we've been doing this for a really long time. We know what we're doing. I don't know why I have to have all this additional burden just in order to achieve the same sorts of contracts that I already have been achieving. So I knew I had my hands uh, uh, full to try to explain why quality was a good idea. But, but let's look at the whiteboard here. With most organizations, we've got some sort of tolerance or some measure of goodness for the parts they're going to make. I've got a lower specification limit and I've got an upper specification limit. And as long as I'm within that goal post, it's good. It's like kicking a football. And as they start making some of these parts, you know, if we look at our normally distributed curve like this, they make a lot of stuff that's pretty good right there in the middle and then out here in the tails, you know, these are some of the problems they might have to work on and things like that. But they thought, you know what, we're doing pretty good. I don't know why we have to worry about a lot of this different quality stuff. And I, I told them, well, if we put too much silver on it, is that going to impact the quality of the parts? And they said, no, it uh, doesn't matter. I said, well, well, how about if we're way down here at the lower specification limits? Will the, will the parts be better than if it... They said, no, the functionality is still the same whether we put a lot of silver on it or we put a little bit of silver on it. So I said, well, let's look at it this way. If we can control the process and reduce the variation, smaller standard deviations, then our X double bar, our average of all averages, still centered on the contract that you want to hit here is just fine. But look what happens now. If I can then take that process, that improved process, less variation, smaller standard deviations, and move it to the low side, like this, I'm still making all of the parts that I need to make. I'm still meeting my contract, but I'm not making parts that have too much silver. And all of the money that I spent before putting on additional silver that I didn't need to spend, I can now put in my pocket. And so in conclusion, as we start looking at opportunities to continue to improve processes like that, we can see that there are many different ways to have quality pay off for the bottom line. So thank you very much. Oh, you want to go to black. There you go, before you stop.